Hi, this is example number three from section 16.3. So here we have a bar connected to two rollers. We're going to uh, study the kinematics of this problem. So we have been given the velocity and the acceleration of point A, and they want us to find the velocity and acceleration of point B. To do that, we will use relative motion the first thing that we always have to do is uh, have our coordinate system. We can set up a coordinate system X and Y. This is our inertia. And we can actually select one coordinate system fixed to our bar, because that's the one we are going to use. Since it's parallel to that one, I'm going to name it X and Y as well. But it has origin in A. So we're going to use a system fixed in A fixed to the bar AB, right? And we are going to calculate the velocity of B using that system. So as you recall, the velocity of B is equal to velocity of A plus angular velocity of that bar AB. And I have to give a direction. So this is rotating in this direction. So this is positive. In K, cross the distance from B to A. We call that distance B to A. And velocity of A is given, and we have this distance, right? We know it's 5, but we, not, we need to decompose it in the system that we chose. Let's decompose that over here so that we have that vector. So that vector B respect to A will be 5, and we name this angle theta. And that angle, you see, if this is 4, you remember that typical triangle that we use. If this is 4 and this is 5, this has to be 3, right? Let me write that in the, this has to be 3. So it will be, for x will be sine of theta in i and in y will be minus cosine theta in j. And that will be 5. Sine of theta will be 3 over 5 in i, and cosine will be 4 over 5 in j. So finally, we can write that, that a vector, right? The position vector from b to a will be equal to 3i minus 4. We can substitute that over here, and we have the velocity of b will be equal to velocity of r a, which is given 6 in negative j plus omega, or velo angular velocity a b in k, cross, and the vector that we just found, 3i minus 4j. We multiply that, and we know also the direction of the velocity of b, which is in i. So velocity of b in i is equal to j plus k times i is, k times i is j, you know that, remember? We, I always use i, j, k, in this direction is positive. So k times i is j, so I get 3 angular velocity a, b in j, and k times j is negative i, with this negative become positive. See, we have a system of equations in i and in j, right? So in i, we have this quantity and this quantity. And so we, we can say here that the velocity of b is equal to a, I'm sorry, I, I wrote two, this is i, is equal to 4 omega a, b. And the equation in J will be 0 equals to negative 6 J, and this one 3 uh, angular velocity AB. OK, so we have two equations with two unknowns. And then if we solve the system, solving system of equations, 
we get that the velocity, I have the result right here, the velocity of V is equal to 8 meters over second, and omega, angular velocity AV is 2 radians per second. So those are my results for the velocity. So I was able to find the velocity of point B, and I was able to find the angular velocity of B2. So we have to do exact the same process for the acceleration. So let's do that. So this was the velocity. Now let's do the acceleration. And we do exactly the same process. So we will use a coordinate system fixed to the bar with origin A, B. And we will write this equation, but for the acceleration. Acceleration of B is equal to acceleration of A plus the angular acceleration instead of angular velocity cross LBA. And then we have the other term, right? You have to learn how to use this equation. So those, this is the equation for acceleration. And then we substitute, and when then we do exactly the same. We have the acceleration for B, which is, we, that's the one that we are looking for, but we have the direction of that acceleration. We have the acceleration of A that we, they tell us that is 5 in J. We want to look for the uh, angular acceleration, which I'm going to draw right here, which is in K. We have that vector that we calculated right here. We have the angular velocity, which is we calculated right here, so that will be 2 squared. We have that vector. So we do our multiplications, and we get the acceleration in B will be negative 5 in J plus K times I, again, is J. K times J is negative I, with this negative becomes positive, minus 4. 4 times 3 is 12 in I. 4 times 4 uh, is 16. This is negative times negative is positive. And again, we have a vectorial equation that converts to two scalar equations. So in I, we have acceleration in B. Then we have equals to 4 angular acceleration minus 12. And then in J, we have 0 equals to negative 5 plus 3 angular acceleration and plus 16. So again, you have a system that you have to solve. And I will just write the result. Solve system of equation again. And you get that the acceleration in B is equal to negative 26 meters over second squared. And the angular acceleration AB is equal to negative 3.67 radians over second squared. And those are the values that I was asked to find. Right here, we get the acceleration of point B.